Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar Weekly Discussion Topic video. Uh, this one, as you can see from the title, is going to be talking about the uh, super common, like, completely unsourced rumor that you often see people just, like, post on certain, like, uh, Facebook pages or uh, the Avatar subreddit or something like that, that... Oh, th th first news about the third series of Avatar. Uh, twin Earthbending avatars confirmed. They like they each have two elements, and they kind of share the power of the avatar, and it's going to be really cool. And then you kind of realize that oh, they got that from like some site that just posts completely random rumors or like fan theories as news or something like that. So I want to talk about this because it comes up so much, uh, just a little bit kind of everywhere. Um, and, and admittedly it is, I think, coming from a lot of people who maybe aren't, like, super involved in the fandom and so aren't necessarily, like, clear on the situation that we're in right now where Mike and Brian are taking a break from animation and we're not going to hear anything about any of that stuff now. But I want to talk about it uh, and really analyse, basically, why, uh, I suppose, first um, go into detail about why we won't be getting any information about uh, the next series uh, anytime soon. Uh, I suppose, secondly, why the twin avatar idea doesn't work. And I suppose, thirdly, uh, why how you actually can use the idea of twins in relation to the avatar to make an interesting series. So I really want to cover this in a bit of uh, depth uh, to make it more than just a news article that just like comes and goes. So first of all, um, the reason we're obviously not expecting any news about the third series is because of the situ situation we're in with Mike and Brian. Mike and Brian are taking a break from animation. As they said, when Korra came to an end, they want to work on their own project. Mike is obviously working on his Rebel Genius uh, novel series. The first one's already out. It was received very well. And I think there's at least two more of those books coming. So he's going to be working on that for a while. Plus, he is working, he's the writer for the Korra comic. So he's, he's still working on Avatar. It's just, he's working in a, in, in, a, as a, in a comic writer position, while also still, of course, being the creator. Animation is just a really kind of like high kind of level thing that just takes a lot of energy out of them. That's why they're taking a break from it. Brian is working on his still upcoming series, Thread World, which I still, I, I don't think we're expecting the first book to be released. And like, I think it's the end of this year, 2017, that we're expecting that. So we're still a while off from Brian's first book. And I think his is planned for like four like five or six volumes maybe or something like that I think is what he said so that is probably going to be one of the longer ones in terms of like that potentially like means like we're maybe going to be waiting four or five years um but obviously a lot of the effort is going into just kind of building up to this first release after that they may come out a little bit sooner and I think he says he's doing like everything for part one but he may bring like other artists in for the second and third parts and stuff like that to increase the flow of books but uh, anyway that's the reason why like if you basically hear anything online that isn't just directly sourced from like Mike O'Brien and Nickelodeon or something like that that's about like a potential new Avatar series you can, you can pretty much discard it because we are in no way expecting any news about the third Avatar series if or whenever ever it's coming and um, I think most people like most fans feel that like we're going to get more Avatar animation. It's just going to be a while before we get to that point. I'm not trying to say, like, it's confirmed it's going to happen in a couple of years. But, like, I feel this is such a popular universe that they will want to come back to it and just add something new onto it. Um, that we will get something more. So, that's the main reason why, like, just the, the concept of, like, news about the third Avatar series I, I, is something you you shouldn't really read into all that much. Especially, as I said, with the fact that most of the time, it's these kind of websites that, like, cover everything. They cover all of the popular, like, TV shows really badly, though. Um, like, I noticed, um, like, cer there, there were certain websites like this uh, during the run of Korra who would actually source my articles for Avatar The Last Airbender Online as, like, their source for news instead of the source that I used to basically report on the news. So I was just kind of like... I okay I I I like that you're kind of using the site as like a source but like you're quoting me is not the right way to do news like and so like it it definitely is this idea that just the twin idea is a kind of fairly commonly held idea like concept within the avatar fandom 
that you see in certain fan fictions and stuff like that. And uh, it just seems to be so prevalent that people put that put these websites put out those reports that like oh like this is a really popular idea this has to be the next idea for a series and people take like speculation as facts that like oh it's confirmed when it's not now second thing as i said let's get into exploring why the idea as presented just doesn't work why we can't have twin avatars where the avatar powers are split between the twins there are three main reasons. Uh, I'm going to go super in-depth on this in terms of detail to make it really clear. One, I will tackle this on a spiritual level. So, Rava. Why Rava can't be split between two people. Secondly, uh, the human aspect of the Avatar. Why, basically, in really short terms, why one cannot be reincarnated into two separate people. Three, it's basically related to the one thing, but I'll tackle it separately just to make it super clear. Uh, the Avatar is like four bending techniques are kind of linked all together to one person like it makes no sense for them to separate so let's start with rava rava basically represents kind of like what is the avatar that yes it is a reincarnation cycle of a person and then she happens to be also kind of within that person at their kind of birth as uh, they're they're kind of linked forever so straight away that confirms to you that like one rava is linked to one human and sure you can make some technical medical point about like twins and how like linked they are but fundamentally twins are still two separate like people like especially with avatar where we're talking about like reincarnation and stuff like that and it's very much like less focused on the science aspect and more this kind of spiritual aspect so like one person is reincarnated from another person so Juan is one person and so Rava can only be reborn into one person the other thing is that we've never seen any evidence to support the idea that Rava can like separate and be in two separate people at once you could maybe make some sort of a case for the fact that like the the two twins are basically like somewhat both the same person and so Rava can like just easily switch between being in one and being in the other like maybe that you can do that but I, I think that just overly complicates the situation and ultimately I think that the f the fundamental idea of twin avatars feels like a gimmick it, it doesn't really feel like that's enough to write a whole show around just the fact that oh they're twin avatars like you have to have much more there than that because I, I think at some point the twin avatar idea you just get down to the fact that like okay it's unique initially and then it's just complicated because you have to have Rava switching between people and all this other sort of stuff. So the, the amount of like um, changes you have to make and like um, specific rules you have to have in place just for this one concept just overly complicates things when Rava fundamentally, you know, can't split between two people given the, the idea that most people have that like that when one goes into the Avatar state, the other goes into the Avatar state. I've seen that like as a as a thing people say about it. Um, so just f fundamentally... Rava cannot split be split between two people. It's Rava is one being herself. So uh, the second point is the human aspect. I already touched on it a bit, but let's go in depth. Rava, when Juan is dying, says that you know, um, you know, I will be with you for all of your lifetimes, and will never give up. So she basically at that point says, "I will be with every single reincarnation of you going forward." So it establishes at the very least that Juan has a reincarnation cycle. Juan and like his the, the spirit of who he is is fundamentally constant, constantly reborn. That's who the avatars are. They're all the, they are all their own unique individual people, but obviously some aspects of like Juan kind of consist with all of them in that like they all remember the the teapot. They all have like certain things in terms of like toys during their childhood that they're all drawn to that or would be drawn to if they were all given the same toys. So they all have like at a at a base level there 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 are some similar aspects of every avatar that link them and highlight the fact that they are all reincarnations. And Rava thus is reborn into the next one in the cycle as we go on. So I obviously I don't know a ton about like real world cultures and how they view reincarnation with regards to like twins and stuff like that but um i think with especially with avatar that they're they'd very much take it down the path of like it's one person it's always just going to be one person 
you the reincarnation cycle is just one individual person that Rava is reborn into that want is reincarnated into one person because one was just a person. Why would he be suddenly half in one, half in another? That makes no sense because then it's like a half reincarnation. So that that's another aspect of it as well that to me doesn't make a whole heap of sense because it would always be the case of just like whichever one of them, whichever the twins was like born at the moment closest to when Ravel would need to transfer into the next avatar, they would become the avatar rather than both of them. That just makes very odd little sense that just the, the spirit of Rava is suddenly like reborn into like half into one person half into another just because they're twins and happen to be born close together I don't really think that's a that's a good thing and makes sense to happen so the third aspect the, the third aspect of this is the bending and um, it's it's basically the same as the other points but just that the idea that a lot of people bring up with this idea that the bending elements will be split between these two people. I don't think makes a whole heap of sense. One, because um, you basically have the idea of like, okay, it'd be an earth avatar. So they're all earth benders. So just irregardless of the fact that um, these two twins potentially could or would be the avatar, they would both have the chance to be an earth bender just by virtue of having earth kingdom heritage. Um so it would make kind of little sense for then one of them, just by definition of this uh, setup, to not have earth bending but be a bender of two other elements that are not their home element, just because they're kind of half the avatar, and then the other one would be like would have their home element and then one of the other ones. And um, again, the problem with this comes back to like Juan and who he was. The cycle and how it works, as far as we're aware, is that Rava after harmonic convergence doesn't hold the elements anymore she may still have them within her until her destruction at the hands of uh, uh unalak and vatu um but fundamentally they're not important for continuing the avatar cycle in terms of the avatar having all four elements it definitely is implied that what happens is that because Juan has trained with all four elements and on harmonic convergence he becomes powerful enough to hold a spirit consistently within himself he is also powerful enough to hold um, all four elements, the power of four elements within himself as well. So fundamentally, Juan changes like his his being into instead of just being a, a firebender, uh, he becomes a bender of all four elements. So he is reincarnated, and all of the reincarnations of Juan after him are naturally born as a bender of four elements, not just because of Rava and like her existing, because otherwise, then that means that. If Rava is indeed responsible for the three elements, that means that any avatar after Korra wouldn't have them because um, Rava was obviously destroyed and so she lost the knowledge of the past avatar. So she, so it would make sense to assume that she also lost the elements that she had. But it also doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Wan was always carrying one element. So Korra... So Rava never carried all four of them at the same time. So even if you assume that she holds three while the Avatar holds one, at her destruction, she would three of them would have been lost by default. And like just you're you're always kind of missing one at that stage. And it just gets overly, overly complicated. So we have to make the assumption that the Avatar, just as a human, is a quadruple bender. And we know this from the fact that um Korra, when Rava is taken out of her, can bend more than one element. We see her airbend jump into the Tree of Time afterwards, and she obviously uses water bending in her fight with Unavatu to use the spirit bending technique. So that confirms that she has at least two of the elements, and we assume she could have used the other ones if she absolutely needed to. So I think um, that's a, definitely an interesting point, and in that I think just that straight away confirms that, like, Okay, maybe you could make some sort of a case for the fact that like Rava held fire and earth, but the 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 assumptions you have to make to get to that being the fact of the situation, I think it just it just makes no sense. So the only thing that really makes sense is that the avatar holds all the all four all four elements within themselves, and that is just a natural aspect of who they are. And then after one every avatar is just that they are a quadruple bender and Rava is also born within them to give them the 
avatar state powers, the spiritual aspect of being the avatar as a human and um, a spirit who are linked together um, by harmonic convergence. So there's that. And then also j just, just by the very nature of the fact that it is a human and spirit linked together, like it doesn't make a whole heap of sense for like even the idea I said before that maybe because the twins are the same, they're both the same vessel, they're both reincarnations of one that Rava could just switch between them. She'd be she'd be permanently bonded to one unless the 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 bond was like broken physically by like what Batu and Unalak did. So that even that her jumping between them makes no sense because as far as we're aware, unless you are the Rava is forcefully extracted, Rava can't just come out of the avatar that she's in. Um, so they're just an aspect of who the avatar is. It's a like half human, half spirit, basically. So on every level, basically, that idea of the mixed power between the, the two twin avatars for Earthbending doesn't make any sense based on what we know now. And if you try to like argue like semantics about like how like oh it could work, but you you were just you are creating such specific situations and viewing things in such a specific way that it just counters so much about what the universe is just to get a concept that seems cool but then when you get into any sort of depth on it isn't all that interesting because getting into the as I said at the start the final point I want to explore in this video I think there's a much more interesting way to take the whole idea of a twin um, within the Avatar universe and it's not splitting the power between the avatars, it's just the simple idea of like, you you take the facts presented about how mechanically the avatar works, treat them correctly, but still just have the avatar have a twin. That one of the twins is the avatar, all of the powers are within them, and then the other twin is just a normal earthbender or isn't a bender at all. That dynamic is so much more interesting than two twins who are both the avatar half and half. Because all of a sudden there's an instant... Uh, difference in destiny for both twins because one is destined to go around the world to train in all four elements and become the avatar and then the other one potentially isn't even a bender or if they are a bender can only ever learn one element and so much more is expected of the avatar one and maybe so little is expected of the other one and you instantly have this jealousy angle of like the focus is all on the avatar twin and not on the other twin Plus, it would explore the concept of an avatar having a sibling, which we haven't had before. Now, another potential thing that gets in the way of um, this this twin concept in any way working in relation to the avatar is that, as far as we're aware, no avatar has ever had a sibling. Now, I don't really know if that in any way is important, because is it just the fact that because Juan had no brother or sister, that means that everyone after that can never have a brother or sister. I don't necessarily know. I wouldn't suspect that that's the case purely because, as I said, each avatar is fundamentally their own person in that their own their own personality. Not everyone's the same. Kiyoshi is like a very different character to like Korok. Yang Chen is a very different character to Roku. Um, and it, I, I don't see this idea that like they just, an avatar can't have a sibling. So I think it's it's definitely something to keep in mind for like maybe they might create that rule as a thing going forward but to me it makes no sense that like oh by definition if you in one life didn't have a sibling in your next life you can't have a sibling that makes no sense to me really. So I think the concept of an avatar having a sibling is no problem and I think this this twin idea would explore that perfectly um, because it 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 we would explore that, but it would also just it would explore the idea of like an avatar having a sibling, um, and then if you added in the non-bender part, it would explore that as well. And I think you could get some excellent stuff from that in terms of like, of course there'd be a new team avatar, but would the other twin who's not the avatar want to be on the team avatar? Given that like that twin would all automatically be the leader, and then what? How how would they really explore utilizing that other twin? In that it it it'd be kind of like um, a little bit about like Sokka in Sokka's Master or something like that, but it'd be taken to such a bigger degree because it'd be a whole life thing growing up of just one twin getting all of the attention, one twin getting very little of the attention, and I think it would just be fascinating to see how writers would go about exploring that dynamic and. 
then especially like if they did have a romance plot that like like if if if, if for any reason the avatar character was having the the romance first like if if they're both this if they're both boys or both girls or or whatever if one of them was having the romance plot first and then the other one also had a crush on whatever girl or boy it was there'd be instantly a, a lot of jealousy on that front and it'd be this case of like the, the the twin who was the avatar didn't ask to be made the avatar it just happened just as much as the one who maybe wanted more but is a non-bender also didn't have any say in that this is just the the hand they were dealt and you could have some really interesting things as you kind of have heart to hearts between the characters and and so on so um i i really like the idea of this um th- this take on it not not the power split between two twins thing which doesn't work um like obviously it it's still similar to the main idea it's still just like a concept of just like oh the avatar having a sibling as a concept but i would like that to be the case because cora introduced the idea that like oh here here's our fir- here's here's us exploring our first avatar who has parents and we got a little we didn't get a ton but we got a, a little bit a decent amount solid exploration of how the parents feel about being the avatar that they they were like a little bit like overprotective you know like the 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 sadness about having to kind of let their child go out and kind of be in this dangerous position as the avatar the the sibling thing is just i think the next thing to explore in terms of a, a unique dynamic within the show and then because the twins would obviously be similar ages the same age um you you have this idea of just like yes like you 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 are exploring something completely like like unique and like the, the both characters can be main characters um it's to me it just comes across as like a very very unique idea but uh, i'm gonna end the video there before i start repeating myself in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this idea have you seen this twin avatar like news rumor go around the place people talking about this a lot or if this is your first time hearing about it what are your thoughts on the situation do you agree with me that just the the power split between two uh, tw- two uh twin avatars doesn't work uh or just what are your thoughts on the concept in general like an avatar having a twin or just the the, an avatar having a sibling as like potentially something they could do with next all of these things i brought up here i definitely want to see some discussion in the comments but i'll just end by saying link to my twitter tumblr patreon campaign and paypal donation link are all in the description below um but yeah that's been the video thanks for watching and bye